Okay, this video is to show you how IPv6 is busted in Windows 7 when using Fritzbox routers. I have on the right hand side here my IPv6 address which is listed as preferred. That is a valid global IPv6 address. Now, every few minutes the router will send a router advertisement packet which will update the preferred lifetime to extra 60 minutes so it doesn't time out. Now, if I reconnect my router, now that's timed out so I need to do that again. If I reconnect my internet connection, my valid address will be marked as deprecated. A router advertisement packet will come back and update the lifetime. Here we go. But the address will stay as deprecated. I am then unable to reach IPv6 sites using IPv6, as you can see here, using IPv4. The only way to fix this is to disable the IPv6 protocol stack and re-enable it or reboot. Now that I've done that you'll see that my address will come back up once I get a new router advertisement after I solicit a router advertisement packet and it's a preferred address. I can then go and go to IPv6 sites that's not working, I don't know why, let's have a look Okay, that's working fine. There are obviously some weird caching issues with Firefox. That's great, so that's working fine, 10 out of 10. Close that down. Go back to the Fritz box, which is complaining because I keep changing my IP stack from 4 to 6, and it keeps connecting to either 4 or 6 to the actual Fritz box. Reconnect the internet. Let's see if that didn't work. Oop, wrong password. Let's see if it did it. No, it did not. That's what you get if you're using complex passwords. Reconnecting the internet. Deprecated address on the right hand side here. Open up a browser. Now, as long as it's closed that IP connection down, it won't be allowed to use that again. Alright, let's actually use another browser to ensure that we are re-establishing our IP connection. Right, so 0 out of 10. So basically when an address is deprecated, you can continue using that address for any existing open TCP sessions. However, you cannot use it for new sessions, which probably explains why it's working in one browser, not the other temporarily. So basically, this is unfixable at the current time in Windows. Uh, unless you untick and retick the IPv6 stack.